Nestled on the banks of the Hudson River, Mikey Stadium. It will play host to some of the nation's finest today and another thrilling edition of Army football. Today, two teams get set to square off in an interconference battle in the AAC. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the North Texas Mean Green, taking on the winners of four straight, the Army Black Knights. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Looking for a productive play on first down. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Makes the stop at the 32, but he picks up 10 on that play. And the fullback. This takes me back to my days growing up, watching the fullback being on the field every single play. You don't see that anymore, but the big fella gets the football. Hey, he looks like he knew what to do with it, too. Nice little pick up. Little, little, little agility, little, little uh, speed, but mostly a lot of just girth and strength and just grown man. Not much he could do there. Does pick up two to the 34. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Crosses the 45. And he was off to the races and he gets it to the 45. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to hand it off to the fullback for a quick hitter, but just nowhere to go. The defensive line, great job getting penetration to set up that play. He'll do it himself. And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. Turns it on down the left side. He's at the 10. Touchdown, me! Offense getting set for first down. They go to the ground. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. And that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. I love fullbacks that are versatile. You don't see many of them in college football anymore, but this guy's unique. He is a weapon when he has the ball in his hands. The Black Knights have enough for the first down. Really nice job on third down by this offense. This offense has struggled on third downs throughout the season. Not even in the top 50, but you know what? When you make it third and short, you can, when you have the run pass option and you're not predictable, you can be more successful. So let's we'll see if this offense can continue to put themselves in good positions. Here comes the offense on second down. They'll run the option. The pitch. Nice, solid four tackle from this sophomore. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Coming after it. Got it set up on the outside. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing, offensive line allowed everybody to run upfield, and they slip in the running back screen, and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. And the Black Knights are on the move. Looking for a crease. It's Russo. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Leaves it with the back. 
And they give him enough for the first down. They'll move the chains, and let's see if they can snap it one more time here in the first. That's the end of the quarter, and North Texas has the lead. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. From the shotgun, they'll run it. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. The Black Knights come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The option look. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. And the fullbacks, you know, usually are typically in there to block, right? Those are the big, strong guys that usually lead the way for the running back. But occasionally you slip it to them, and you probably don't do it too much and don't make a living off it. But when you get a nice little chunk like this, maybe you find another way to give them the football. First and ten. They'll run the option. Breaks the tackle. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Army! Coming. They know what's coming. Can you stop it? And you can't. Pound the football straight ahead. Get in for six. Nice job by the big fella. And he tacked on the extra point. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go through. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. Trying to pick up a first down. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And that one looked great on the grease board, but when they blow it up like that, the defense is going to win every time. Boots his first of the day away. He was called on four times in the victory last week. On first down, here comes this offense. Back to throw. It's Bolden. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback checking off. To the air on first down. Got it in the middle. It's short. Routes like that are great teams to be quarterbacks. I got great, fast, speedy guys on the outside. Quick drag route and get the ball in his hands. Let him do the rest. Running backs on either side of the quarterback. He's looking for a man on second down. Got his man in the middle. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. They'll rush to the line. Clock stops for the first down. They'll set the chains and wind the clock. Moves around to clear up the vision. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They'll immediately call timeout. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Nowhere close on that one as he got his will trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. Going to run it is Russo. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The 
The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. Timeout. And in the final seconds of the first half, they'll send out the field goal unit. He splits the uprights and puts the three on the board. First down for the offense. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Now on the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. Scanning the field. It's Bolden. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they going to do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is going to need to make some adjustments. And he breaks into the open. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. What a run. Great speed, great vision, elusiveness, and Davies tackled down close to the goal line. Yeah, and this offense, when you can run the football like this, man, you will have success, especially in the red zone, trying to get touchdowns. And they're able to get him on the ground. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. On the option. Now the toss. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. This has been really good for the defense, too. It's kind of the bend don't break mentality, right? Really bowing up with your backs against the wall. If you can win this next third down, try to force the opponent into a field goal, that's a win if you're on defense. Jumped on top of the pile. And fourth and two is a little bit harder than fourth and one, but you practice these two-point conversion plays every week. It's an important part of the game, so you should have some confidence on the two-yard line of a play you can run to be successful. Here comes the option. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, right back. Touchdown. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -to -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of bounce, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Out across the 30 to the 39 after getting 10 on that one. I love it. What a play call. Going to the fullback in the running game, and he shows you that he's got some ability. This guy was a big-time high school running back, and he shows you the wiggle. He's got some ability to break tackles, and he helps his offense out. Guys, it is Army who carries the lead into the quarter break. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. On the run, it's Russo. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football, so he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lead? And he's running on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. 
Well, on offense, you've got to love the way your offensive line is playing in this game. They're getting tremendous movement up front. They're climbing in the second level and really giving these backs and ball carriers a lot of room to run all game long. Not much room. A pickup of two down to the 28. This offense has done a good job on this drive, taking time off the clock as they come up on second down. He'll ride his man on the option. Nice job to keep it himself. Find the first down marker and move the chains for this offense. And the Black Knights have it with a first and ten. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll leave it with him. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. Trying to bully their way in. gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdowns. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. Running back goes in motion. They'll run it. Touchdown, Black Knights! First down here for the offense. Timeout. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. We're at the midway point of the season, and after the showing they delivered today, this team is firing on all cylinders through Week 7. We've been talking a lot about this team, but you want to be remembered in the month of November. The most important part in the meat of this schedule now is coming up. You play well throughout the second half of the year, we're talking college football playoff potential. Yeah, and, but you got to start somewhere, right? And I, and I like that they started strong, made it to week seven now. Yes, the, the rivalries are coming up and, and more important games are coming up. But you did what you needed to do to start the season. Now just keep that mindset and keep grinding. That's going to do it for us from here.